Fox News alert, an incredible display of bravery today as 17 Democratic members of the House were arrested outside of the United States Supreme Court during a Roe v. Wade protest, including members of the squad, as AOC, Ilhan Omar, Cori Bush, and Ayanna Presley were all removed from the scene by Capitol Police. Historians will look back on this day as one of the most significant social justice battles of the 21st century. The squad demonstrating bravery we haven't seen since John Lewis was beaten and gassed in Selma. This was also reminiscent of Joe Biden, who was arrested on his way to meeting with Nelson Mandela. This day, 30 years ago, Nelson Mandela walked out of prison and entered into discussions about apartheid. I had the great honor of meeting him. I had the great honor of being arrested with our UN ambassador on the streets of Soweto trying to get to see him on Robbins Island. Actually, Joe Biden made that up. But that's besides the point. History will remember this day as America's own Tiananmen Square moment when a single protester stared down the barrel of a militaristic regime. But in some ways, AOC's fight for justice was even more unique because the officers arresting her also wanted to date her. We know this because there were no handcuffs. Nobody got roughed up. In fact, the cops were total gentlemen. They handed out bottled water and overripe bananas. AOC bravely ate that banana, handed to her by the ultra MAGA police, because she needed the energy for what would come next. And then, once all the cameras were rolling, AOC, obviously one of the theater kids in high school, put her hands into a pair of invisible handcuffs, ready for her close up. Only briefly breaking out, like Harry Houdini to throw a fist to the crowd. How did she do that? Isn't this the same AOC who was complaining about the Capitol Police officer not arresting her heckler last week? He, when I was walking up, um, he said, hey, right in front of the Capitol Police officer, said, hey, uh, here's this, look at that big ass, look at that big juicy booty, this Latina, like whatever. I think the thing that was so crazy about that incident is not even that it happened, but that it happened on the Capitol steps right in front of a Capitol Police officer. He was engaged in very clearly sexually threatening, aggressive behavior right in front, on the Capitol steps in front of an officer, and he wasn't even asked to take a step back. Now, all of a sudden, she stages an arrest with the same Capitol Hill police. Didn't look that intense. The same Capitol Hill police she accused of being accomplices to the January 6th riot. There were actual officers working with this, and we never got to the bottom of that, and we never got any answers about that. And then to this day, we're just supposed to pretend that that never happened. We're going to I have no idea what happened to the people on the inside who were very clearly sympathetic with what was going on and opening the doors wide open for that. And we're, I'm supposed to sit here and pretend like none of that ever happened. And then right afterwards, you have a massive, you know, you just have this idea that throwing money at that problem is going to make it go away without any buildings. accountability. But now AOC is throwing herself to the mercy of these Capitol Police officers. AOC, what was it like when you were arrested? In prison, you are somebody's Oh, and you, you, my friend, would be the belle of the ball. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. But prison's not for everybody. And AOC seems to always be right in the middle of the action. Or at least she says she is. I hear boom, 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 boom. I jump into my bathroom that whoever was trying to get inside got into my office. I just start to hear these yells of... Where is she? Where is she? I thought I was going to die. I come out, and this man is a Capitol Police officer. He was looking at me with a tremendous amount of anger and hostility. Things weren't adding up. Like, there was no partner there. I didn't know if he was there to help us or hurt us. Yeah, for the record, though, AOC wasn't even inside the Capitol on the 6th. But those Capitol Hill police officers do sound pretty scary. I wouldn't have taken a banana from them. The Congresswoman constantly finds herself on the front lines where cameras just happen to be, like the border, or on the beaches of Normandy. 
But AOC's arrest this afternoon may go down in the annals of the greatest performances, I mean spectacles, of all time. Ted Kennedy showing up to court in a neck brace after Chappaquiddick. Nancy Pelosi kneeling and draped in African tribal robes. It might even outdo Hillary at the Black Baptist Church. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I just wish there was something more AOC could do besides getting fake arrested for abortion rights. You know, if only she had a job where she could write legislation to change the law. I think it's called Congresswoman. I think the job is Congresswoman. I think they do that.